Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Soling the Ark. I'm Flinger Foo, and today, well, uh, we're gonna go do the last cave that we need for the uh, Megapithecus fight. Because we need to have the last cave done for the Megapithecus fight. Uh, so we've got the cave, of the artifact of the pack. I already did a video on that in this season. Uh, we've got the artifact of, uh, this one is the Brute. Alright, yeah, so the artifact of the Brute. Uh, now we need the artifact of, it's the Devourer, right? Yeah, which means we need to do Carnal Island Cave, right? Yeah? Uh, okay, alright. So, uh, I think, I mean, since Carnal Island Cave, it's actually, um, at one point in time, people used to, th um, it used to be like, it was wicked hard to do. It's actually super easy. Um, so, since it is so super easy, then I think that I would like to see which one is the easiest dino to write it on. Either a Thyla, which a Thyla makes that cave super, super simple. Um, or a Shadow Me. I mean, which one is actually better? Because it's already an easy... I mean, it's not super simple. But it is, uh, with a Thyla, it's... You hop in, you get it, you hop out. It's as simple as that. But would a Shadow Mane make it that much more simpler? Let's find out. Alright, so before we get started on this, we're, there's a couple things we're gonna need. I mean, because... If you're taking a hard cave and you're making it simple, there's a couple things that you need to have in order to make it simple. One, uh, we're gonna need something to, cause it's, it's wicked cold in there, so... Do I want Karen or do I want the Otter? The Otter actually... Well, here, hold on, let's see. Alright, so Karen gets... 1,032. 957, whoa. Karen works... Uh, Karen works better? Okay, all right, come here, Karen. <laughs> You're coming with us. Okay, so learning new things every day. So Karen works better than the otter for that. Who would have thunk it? Wow, all right. So uh, let's see, now we need, uh, let's see. There's the shadow main army. Here, let's top off our food. And then, there we go. Grab some of this stuff. All right, so if you were this stuff, and then... Nailed it! Perfect! All right, so... And then now, all we have to do is take... And let's take Coffee Badger and put you in our pocket, because... I, honestly, I, I already know that if you're gonna um, go across the channel, over to Carno Island, uh, a Thyla will do it quite well. Now, how well will... A shadow may do it. We all we all know the answer here. It's gonna do it really well. But here, let's find out. Oh, hello. Hey, Mr. Lystrosaurus. How are you doing? Get our butt over here, avoiding all the big brontos and stuff along the runway because they're really distracting. Yeah, Carno Island. I, I've covered this thing extensively. Carno Island is one of the easiest ways of getting XP on this map. It is wicked simple, wicked easy, wicked fun. All right, let's get over here. I'm only looking down like this where I can keep an eye out for snipe area, and this is so fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, yeah. Gentlemen, so fast it leaves a water trail. It's a jet ski. Oh my gosh. All right. Start. I don't want Titan boots. I don't even want those. Ooh, look at you, Alpha Rex! Hey! How you been, man? Yeah? You alright? Yeah, come here, dude. I don't even care what level you are. I just want to eat you. I got my Bob Noglin equipped, and we're good. Come on. One thing I have noticed with the Shadow Mane is you just stand still. You don't even move forward, don't pull back, don't nothing. You actually attack faster when you're standing still. 
Although sometimes with alphas, they'll just push you around. There's nothing you can do about it. This guy's super bloody. Hey! There you go, man. Alright, let's see. Why are these guys... Oh, hey! We just lost our pick. Got a new one. Thank you. Huh. Okay. That was efficient. And Bob Noglin is, of course, taking his sweet time leveling up. I'm probably going to go just grab another one and then level it up to three as well. Uh, let's see. All right. We're going on weight, so we're up to level 91. All right, let's go get the rest. Oh, hey, and an alpha raptor. So many alphas here today. Hey, guys. All right, come here. Oh, that just killed them both. Okay. And once again, why these guys got berries? It's so weird. All right, so if you're going into the Carno Island Cave or the Cave of the Devourer, it's just right over here. All right, let's gank these. See, right there's the entrance. All right, let's see. Can we even fit on a Shadow Mane? Okay, so, uh, we found our first problem. Shadow main cannot fit in the entrance. So, if you're going in on a shadow main, you have to use a cryopod. Okay, so let's clear this area out really quick. Actually... Come on, dude. Thank you. Let's just throw this stuff out. All right, so Shadow Main will not fit into the entrance. Thyla will. One point, Thyla. Beat Thyla will go right inside. And on Thyla, you can just swim right underneath here. Alright, now let's gamma. Hold on. There. This this cave is really dark. And right up through here. Alright, let's get these guys dead. Wow, that's a lot of stuff right at the entrance here. Hey guys! So, we're still at zero points, Shadow Main, one point, Thyla. All right, let's go through. Well, we already know that the, the Thyla, you can seriously just come right up here. Drop down there, kill everything. Oh, but there is a Megalosaurus right there. That's an issue. Which means that you're going to have to go all the way around. Come on, dude. I'm talking here. Jeez, bat. Right. So if there's a Megalosaurus, and you can see him, he's... Obnoglin's in the way. But yeah, he's way down there, right down there at the bottom. So if you were to drop down there, a uh, Megalosaurus can pick up the Thyla off you, kick you off, and then thrash around the Thyla. That's not ideal. You don't want that to happen. Right, so let's see. Let's... Put you down. God, guys, with the tails and stuff. Come on. 
All right, now Athyla is not going to take crap for damage as they go down. So on this guy right here, I don't want to be jumping around too much either. I just want to kind of run. Let's see. Hey, guys. All right, so Shadow Man does so much more damage than the Thyla. Oh, wow. See that? The scorpion came out of nowhere. Right, so, let's see. And shadow means take a lot more falling damage than than Tyler's do. I feel like I've already said that. Oh, that was a 150. Okay. I feel like I've already said that one. All right, so let's see. Okay, we've already got that. So, if we're going to take out this guy, the most efficient way is to just kill him from a distance. There he goes. All right, dead Megalosaurus, and that's how you take out a Megalosaurus efficiently. Philo or Shadow Maid, either way. All right. I'm here. Oh, I saw that. Guano dropping from the ceiling. Okay, fooling no one. Wait. Okay, and he's got the constant hydration buff inside here. That is whack. Absolutely wacky. Apparently it's muggy in here. I don't know. I was thinking he was hitting for extra. Okay, that is definitely a point in the Shadow Main's favor. If it's constant hydration inside of this cave, yeah, definitely point for the Shadow Main. But the fact that on the Shadow Main, you have to go down this like this, that is, yeah, that's point Thyla. So as of right now, we're two points Thyla, one point Shadow Main. Because the Thyla, you can just drop down the down in the middle. You don't even care. On the Shadow Main, you're going to take a lot of damage doing that. Sorry, Dung Beetle. Sorry. Oh, hello. 135, that's actually a decent one. And these guys always have rabies. But the rabies is expected here. XP buff right here. All right, so Neither the Shadow Main nor the Thyla can go inside of there. And there's always something that gets tripped up on that. Alright, come on, spider. There we go. There's always something that gets tripped up on that. Okay, so... And neither of them can go inside there. Now, for this next point... We're gonna discuss getting out. Because the Shadow Main... We're gonna try to jump with the Shadow Main to get him out. Let's get this. 
see how efficient it is to get Shadow Man up. But we have to, I mean, if we're gonna do this properly, we're gonna have to do this properly. All right, so let's see. Can we jump way up there? Okay, we can. Very efficient, okay. Now we can actually come up here, get this loot. Let me jump way up there. And we're out, okay. But then we have to cryo the shadow main to get out because there's no way you're gonna get in there. And getting stuck underwater inside there, that's gonna be a nightmare. Okay, so, let's throw out the thyla, and then let's go down to the bottom, and then let's do that again and see which one is actually more efficient. Get out of the bottom of the cave itself. See, the thylo, you can just jump down, right like this. You don't even care. All right, and then of course you're stuck right like that. All right, so, for the thyla. You have to come up like this because there's zips up there, but there's a place. Climb out, that Thyla can just kind of grab a hold of. All right, I'm gonna give this point to the Shadow Main. Climbing out, so much easier on the Shadow Main. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so so far we are two and two. Two points Shadow Main, two points Thyla. How to do the tiebreaker because I think we're done. Let's see. Honestly, I think I might give the tiebreaker to the Thyla because you have to cryo all the way out. If you're on the Shadow Main, you have to run this on foot. Come out here, and then you'll get some fresh spawns right here on the Shadow Main. So you can hear them right there. So you're going to end up getting your butt eaten, chewed on. Or you run the risk while you uncryo your dino and then hop on your shadow me. So honestly, I'm going to give the the final point, the tie-breaking point, to the Thyla. Because the Thyla, it just don't care. You can run right through that entire cave without getting off the Thyla except for grabbing the artifact. And then possibly some loot. So while the shadow main is wicked good, it does have some downfalls in the fact that it is so much bigger than the Thyla. Huh. That's kind of cool. All right. So, uh, my determination. Which dino is best for running the Cave of the Devourer? That Rex is coming right at me. Let's see if we can answer it before he gets here. Is the Thyla by a two to three vote. The Shadow Man is good. It is great, actually, at doing it. But it isn't the best. I would say that the Thyla is absolutely the best because the Shadow Man, you have to get off the Shadow Man. You have to cryo the Shadow Man. You have to, uh run long distance without even having the shadow main there and so yeah that makes the thyla the clear winner because you don't have to get off the thyla for any any reason all right hey science or at least based on my opinion so hey all right <laughs> all right now i mean i realize this doesn't have anything to do with the cave of the devourer but getting to carnal island is so much easier on the shadow main than it is on the thyla I mean, so much easier. I mean, look at this. Just go up like this. You can actually... Or how was I leaving water trails? Oh, if you come right up like this... No. Okay. Well, w there's a way that you can do it where you can leave water trails. That's kind of cool. All right. So uh, now we need to... I mean, we've got quite a bit of time. It, uh, Cave of the Devourer actually doesn't take that long. So I think I'm going to go grab a whole bunch of... Uh, 
stuff. Let's go see what else we need. Then maybe go set up. Actually, let's go set up the army. Okay, so, um, yeah. Live and learn. Yeah, I should have kept the Megalania toxin. Because I'm gonna need... Oh, raptors over there. I'm gonna need it. Uh, yeah, the Megalania toxin that we just had. Yeah. We're gonna need it for the... For the fight. So, I should have kept it instead of just dumping it. So, eh, live and learn, right? See that, Demorphodon? I just saved your pooper. Yeah, there were raptors over here and stuff, man. All right, let's get one thing that I probably shouldn't have done. Um, don't have your... You're going and you're doing caves? Don't have your favorite, uh, underwater dino in a cryo in your inventory while you're doing it? Um, yeah, if you die, um, you run the risk of losing all that stuff. So, not the best idea. All right, let's see. Do we have enough obsidian to make another one of those? I know I used up my last one of the trophy case. There we go. Back to regular game. Uh, let's see. So... No, we only have that. All right, I'm going to need to go get that. Also, um, for this fight, we're going to need to get... I mean, I'll, we've got a whole bunch of Megalodon teeth. I did save uh, the Megalodon teeth from uh, the last... I need more storage. That's as simple as that. I just need more storage. All right, here. You, uh, here, hold on to a bunch of stuff, man. No, you're doing great. You're doing great. Uh, wait right here. All right, hold on to that. You're doing good. All right, keep it up, man. All right, um... Yeah, there you go. Dude, like a champ. <laughs> I need more storage so bad. All right, so, um, yeah, we need, uh, Megalania Toxin, which... We did have a bunch of it. Um, although, one of the cool things with Megalania Toxin is if you get two Megalanias and you breed them, then the baby um, will have Megalania Toxin. That's one of the only dinos that you can do that on. Um, uh, Spino Sails, Megalodon Teeth, Therizino Claws, and Thylacoleo Hook Claws. So, we're going to have to go see if we can go get some Thylacoleos. Uh, where is my tech helmet? We're looking for Thylas. They're, that's the easy Put it in here. Alright, there you are. Nailed it. Alright, we're gonna go get that. Let's go see if we can go get some Thylas. Super Dota, you're coming with me. Alright, Blue Raspberry, wait right there. We're gonna go look and see if we can get, um, get our butt dead to some Thylas. Maybe a Spino or two. Five. Alright. So here's the dangerous part. Now, ah, we gotta go see if we can find some thylas. <laughs> oh yeah, let's see. So the easiest way is with the tech helmet. Hmm. We get our butt inside of here. And we see if we can actually see some. Without getting pounced. Hopefully up high a little bit. Done there. I'm not seeing any thylas. Okay, let's go along the... Let's skirt the edge a little bit because... Oh, hey, Spino. Yeah, see, there's one of the few things that I'm absolutely terrified in this... in this game. And that is getting pounced by thylas. Takes a lot to, to scare the crap out of me. Thyla will do it. 
Nine times out of ten, guaranteed to succeed. <laughs> Nine out of ten Thylas have realized that it is really ex extremely uh, funny. Pounce Flinger. Thank you. And Spino Sales are worth their weight in gold. Just saying. Oh, dude, leave me alone. Now, let's see. Can we find... Phyla. Hook Claws. One of the key things for looking for Thylas is you're looking through the trees. Also, just stand still. Serious. That's one of the easiest ways of finding Thylas in the Redwoods is just stand still. Because you'll find Thylas up in the air. You'll find Thylas down on the ground. Spino! Getting distracted by all the Spinos. But it's a good distraction because we need 10 of these sails. So if we see a Spino, the Spino must die. It's as simple as that. Come here, dude. Hey, you got nothing on Super Dodo, man. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. There we go. Alright. Now let's go see if we can find a thyla. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm complaining about uh, finding a couple spinos. Definitely not, because that's probably going to be the major uh, time sink is spino sales. It usually is. I would like to spot Phyla on a tree, though. If I can spot one on the ground, I would not complain about that either, because chances are I would not be pounced. Beehive. Let's see if we can find a fire. Okay, so I found one on the ground, which is very fortuitous for us. Right here. Apparently he just picked a fight. What level are you? 95. Okay. Pretty Thyla, though. Too bad we can't go to Genesis and grab these things, because Thylas are everywhere on all right. So, two of those. Yeah, I would like to find one on a tree. So I can show you the easiest way of getting them off. Especially with an Argent. I mean, you can do it with uh, just shooting them once. Oh, hey, Alpha. Uh, you can do it with just shooting them once. But... That takes forever. Um... But if you're on an Argent, and you see them on a tree, go above them, and then swoop down, and then just, you can either pluck them off with right click, or you can left click and get them off. Or, if you see them, you can pop down on the ground and shoot them, and they will pop off and try to come eat you. Which is kind of a good thing. It, it, it's a good, healthy eating. That's what you want. 
but I'm not seeing any latched onto trees right now. Alright, so hey, I'm gonna be out here doing a whole bunch of stuff, getting a whole bunch of these things. We've got thylacolias um, we have to uh, mutilate, we've got spinos we have to um, uh, chop their sails off, which just seems really cruel. Um, we've got uh, therizinos, we already have all the megalodon teeth, but also need to get to the caves and go get the venom, which I had already for venom. But now we're going to have to go get 10. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's probably going to do it for the video. I wanted to show how to get a thyla off the tree, but I don't think that's going to happen. But hey, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if, you, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Out here looking for all sorts of different things. And it's going to take a while. And take it easy, everybody.